Are you ready, kids? Aye, aye, aye Captain. Captain. I can't hear you. Aye, aye, aye Captain. Captain. Oh. What is the best high school in Kentucky? Bishop Prosser. With the greatest digital media in history. Bishop Prosser. If Mustang Pride be something you see. Bishop Prosser. Then head to the high school prime in its peak. Bishop Prosser. Ready? Bishop Prosser. Bishop Prosser. Bishop Prosser. Bishop Prosser. Ha ha. Hey Stangs, welcome back to another awesome week of Digital, Digital Media. A little birdie told me it was prom week, and you know what that means. Spray tans! So, prom season's here. How'd you get your glowing skin, Grace? Uh, I had a fail. <laughs> but otherwise, it's only my hand, so we're gonna do it again tonight, though. Lauren. <laughs> How come you look so hot today? Um, home each tan. <laughs> Can I see your stomach real quick? A oh, word. <laughs> so this is a perfect example of how to not look orange when you get a spray tan, unlike me. Yes. <laughs> and my hand. Kaylee, what happened? This is a prime example of what not to do when you get a spray tan. <laughs> <laughs> spray tan? Yes. Did you guys? What names have you called Kaylee? Uh, Garfield, Donald Trump, Annoying Orange, and just <laughs> downright ugly. <laughs> Madison, were you scared to get a spray tan? Yes. Yeah. This is what happens when you're scared to get a spray tan. <laughs> Reagan, what names have you called Kaylee? Orange Sickle. Kaylee, did you get a spray tan? Yeah. <laughs> Senora Wheat, what color is Kaylee's skin? Anaranjado? <laughs> Spot the difference. Okay, now we're going to put these fine ladies in order from lightest to darkest. Go ahead, guys. <laughs> darkest. Hmm. I think I... <laughs> I think Kendall should go over one more. Don't you think, see? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, go over one. <laughs> Good. So. Do you have any advice for Kaylee on how she should have fixed this um, spray tan? Just go home and take like eight showers and you'll be good. <laughs> oh gosh, I'm so glad Kaylee got it figured out. Y'all want to see some Ryan on Ryan action? Let's bring it on over with sports. What's up Mustangs? Welcome back to another wonderful week of sports with the Ryan on Ryan action. Starting with baseball, the Mustangs beat Scott 4 to 1 with a walk-off home run by Mitchell Combs with a complete game thrown by Evan Moore. They also got the win against Pounden, beating them 5 to 2. Uh, hits by Adam Beasel, Brandon Beasel, and Andrew Beck. The Mustangs were put to a halt by Walton Verona when they lost 6 to 5. However, this was still a multi-hit game for Logan Meyer and Andrew Beck. Monday was senior night for the Lady Mustangs, and what a great night it was as they defeated Newcap 9 to 1 with Kinsey Gully striking a big one out of the park. The ladies also play Cooper, but we prefer not to talk about that. The ladies finish off the week with two wins against Bracken, beating them 3-2, and then Calvary Christian beating them 13-3. That's all for sports this week, Mustangs. Wow. Now let's check out the weather with Andrew. Hello, Mustangs. Welcome back to another weather segment. On Monday, we have a high of 77, and it's going to be very sunny. On Tuesday, we have a high of 82, and it's going to be mostly sunny. And on Wednesday, we have a high of 84, and it's going to be another sunny day. And then on Thursday, we have a high of 83, another sunny day. Friday, it's going to be a high of 82, mostly sunny. We have a very good week, so you should have a good week too. It's finally heating up. Let's check out some sweet picks from signing day. Twenty-five thousand six hundred minutes. Five hundred twenty-five thousand moments, oh dear. Five hundred twenty-five thousand six hundred minutes. How do you measure, measure a year? In daylights, in sunsets, in midnights, in cups of coffee, in inches, in miles, and laughter and strife.
in times that he cried In bridges he burned Or the way that she died It's time now to sing We look super stoic and frankly quite studious Let's turn it over to Mr. Fearman about exam positions Hi everybody! Well, Mr. Fearman here and it's that ex exam exemption time of year and so I just wanted to make sure that we're all on the same page because I'm gonna have to process like you know 200 plus of these things uh, just so that we get it all done and done right so I'm sorry that uh, you know a video of me in my office isn't exciting like uh, digital media doing a skit or watching explosions or anything like that but um, I'm gonna try and go through here and and get some things straight so first of all just want you to know to qualify for an exam exemption first your teacher has to allow it uh, has to be a full year course and you have to have an A average which is a 90 now of course uh, for the year you know not for just the quarter and you're, as long as your teacher signs and dates the form um, and make sure that you put your full class name on there so not just religion but religion 3 not just algebra, algebra 2 or AP world history etc so just want to make sure that we're clear and if you qualify for the third exemption, which you need a 3.95 GPA for, um, you know, you can go ahead and fill out the third exemption. If you're not sure, go ahead and fill it out, have your teacher sign it. I'll double check the GPA. Your teacher, nobody has to do anything like that. Okay? Um, what might keep you uh, from being eligible for an exemption would be things like uh, if you're failing a class for the year, that's not good. Um, if you've received demerits for academic dishonesty or cheating or anything like that for, throughout the year, sorry guys, um, I'm going to be double checking that and um, you won't be exempt so you might as well not even try. But, um, or also if you have outstanding balances, whether that's with the cafeteria, school fees, things like that. So you might want to make sure that those are paid up. Wow! Um, the form Every year we have errors with the form, so here's the exemption form. Some of the things I just want to make sure is at the top that you put not only your name, but your grade level, although seniors will say senior at the top, and your homeroom. And I want the number uh, of the homeroom, or if you're a special one like student council or something, you can put that there. But I have to sort all these out and give them back to you. So make sure you do that. Um, of course, make sure you have all your courses and signatures from your teachers. And then... These will be due on um, Friday, May 13th, in the office, by the end of the day. So no exceptions, unless you're absent, of course, we'll, we'll make an exception there. But uh, I can't be processing late exemptions and stuff because, you know, there's just so many of them to do. So I uh, just wanted to make sure that was clear. If um, the back of the form, that's the other thing I wanted to talk about. There's an exam schedule on there for your convenience so you can kind of plan things and look ahead. But if there are any days where you don't have to be here, whether that's because of an exemption, study hall, AP class that's over with or whatever, um, you need to have your parents acknowledge which day so you can circle which day and have them sign it at the bottom uh, before you turn it in on the 13th, acknowledging that they know what days that you won't be here. And then, of course, we won't count you absent. If... Um, you forget to do the back or you come up later and you don't have to be here one day, it'll just count as an absence and it's no big deal. But again, I don't want to be taking a bunch of notes uh, you know, that are handwritten later after the due date because that, that's a lot of complication. So um, I hope that makes some sense. I'm uh, just looking at my notes here just to make sure you know everything. So this morning in homeroom, of course, your homeroom teacher should have passed one of these out for you so you have it in your hand. Uh, that's on Monday the 9th. And again, they're due on the 13th. I will return them to you. Uh, seniors, you'll get yours back on Monday the 16th. And freshmen through juniors, you'll get yours back on the 19th. That's during Thursday homeroom. And um, if there's any reason why I see that you won't get one of these exemptions, I'll try to notify you sooner before you get the form back. But remember, this form returned with my signature on it uh, will be you know, your proof that you are exempt from that uh, particular class's exam. So, uh, any questions, you can ask your homeroom teacher or your classroom teachers. If they can't answer it, uh, you can ask me or check the, the handbook. I believe in one of the older handbooks, it's about page 11, uh, but you will see it. Um, oh gosh. Yeah, it's on page 11 under final exam exemptions in the academic portion of the handbook. So, hopefully that clears things up for you guys and um, you know that makes some sense. 
Uh, like I say, if not, ask me. But otherwise, Mr. Freeman going to sign off. Good luck on all your exams. And uh, how about time for a few explosions? That's all for this week, Mustangs. Bye. Bye.